All right, look. I usually don't do these whole right after the game's over, record a video, talk to you guys about it. But this time, I had to do it. Like, that broke me. Like, as a fan, as a person that enjoys watching football, that physically broke me. There's so much wrong with this football team that was not, that none of these problems were really a big thing last year, with the exception of Blake Bortles. Us as fans gave into the persona that last year we went in with Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles was our guy. This is going to be the guy to take us to a Super Bowl, whether you haters like it or not. Blake Bortles is the guy. We ignored all opportunities to go out and upgrade that position. Me as I will I will say that I was one of those people. I was one of those people that had Blake's back through and through. That was my guy, that was my dude, that was my quarterback. But after this performance, people are going to say, you can't blame Blake for this loss. You can't blame the defense. The defense went out there, did its job. That last drive, did they give up? Did they fuck up? Yeah. Were there costly penalties? Yes. There was lots of that. There was lots of costly penalties. But that defense as a whole picked Big Ben off three times. The only reason we didn't win that game is because Nathaniel Hackett kept calling run, 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 run. Fucking three plays in a row. Four straight three and outs. As a football fan, this is, like, I, I don't even want to think. Like, this is the worst I've ever seen the Jaguars. This is the worst. I know we've had worse seasons, but this, with the talent that we have, it's bad. It's really bad. To go out there and lose with three seconds left on the clock to a Big Ben rushing touchdown, that hurts me inside. I was throwing shit. I was yelling. <laughs> My stream went down, so I wasn't able to stream it. I apologize to everybody that did come out and support the stream for that. I am grateful. But this fucking football team, man, doesn't even deserve, doesn't even deserve to be a national football team. Not with the way that went. You're telling me you get three turnovers. You score 16 points in the first half. You go scoreless throughout the second half. And you pull that shit. There's absolutely no offense. Is our offense better with Leonard Fournette in it? Hell yeah, it is. Were they doing great in the first half? Hell yeah. There was no fucking adjustments made in the second half. Did you not think they were going to catch on to the whole Blake Bortles can't fucking throw a ball more than 15 yards down the field? You didn't think they were going to catch on to that? That's not a hard thing to catch on to. Everybody in the league knows Blake Bortles can't do that. I want a fucking competent quarterback that could go in there and win us football games. Because this team is being wasted. This team is being fucking wasted with Blake Bortles at quarterback. Also, it's being wasted with fucking Telvin Smith, too. What the fuck is his problem? We should have they should have scored with like 30, 40 seconds left because he left James Conner wide open. He also botched coverage on that Vance McDonald touchdown. This is pathetic. Completely and utterly pathetic. We don't deserve to be an NFL team right now. We're three and fucking seven. We have the Bills next week, and I don't even know if we could beat the fucking Bills. We had a good team in Pittsburgh reeling, and everybody and everybody on Twitter, including myself, was like, oh, we got this Jags team back. We own the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is our series. We lead the all-time series. Every time Pittsburgh plays us, we win. And I was getting really excited. I was like, this is the momentum we need to carry on. And you guys go out there and do that. Do what you guys did. You run it on third down. Third and six. You run it on third and six. You get one yard. Throw the ball. Have Blake fucking scramble out. Get a first down. Nope, you're running right inside. The same shit we've been doing every single play in this game. Pathetic. This performance, pathetic. This team, pathetic. I am done. I am done. I'm done with this team, man. Like, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Y'all got me excited as hell last year for the performance you guys did. I was finally like, yes. Well, I have a good team to root for. I don't have to be embarrassed to wear my Jag shit out in public anymore. Like, people aren't going to ask you, why are you a Jags fan? Or is it, uh, who is that? Is that the Panthers? You know, I'm finally getting some recognition 
for liking a good football team. And this team was supposed to be great. This team, this defense was supposed to be an all-timer. This defense was supposed to be elite. This defense was supposed to be it. And Blake Bortles was supposed to just do enough to take us to the Super Bowl and we were going to be good. No, that's not what happened. Injuries cost us, yeah. The offensive line's playing like garbage, yeah. But if you don't have a quarterback that can't make reads, that isn't competent in any sense of the way, you're going to lose. I never thought I'd be sitting here making a rant about Blake Bortles. But here I am making a rant about Blake Bortles. You put a great quarterback on this team, we are elite. But as long as we have Blake Bortles, the team morale is down, the fan base's morale is down. This whole team is just the biggest disappointment of 2018. I've had a rough 2018 so far, and I just wanted the Jags to be the bright spot, something that I could be happy about. No. Every Sunday I go and I watch the Jags, and I'm upset. I'm mad. Just like Eric Dunn said in his Life of the Jags fan, I'm still going to watch every game. But I'm fucking done. I am fucking done. D-O-N-E done. I wanted to get on here and rant and rave and talk to you guys because I just had to get these feelings out. The Jags are done. Our season's over. We should fucking consider making some sort of blockbuster trade in the offseason to get a quarterback that's competent. Get a franchise quarterback because none of these rookies are going to come in and make an instant impact. You can't expect a rookie to come in, start, and save your franchise. This Jaguar team is back to square run, square one right when we thought we were on the road to the Super Bowl. And this shit hurts me. And it hurts me deep down inside.